Hi there, how are you doing today? It's Catherine from 3Ps, welcome to the gym. This video is about how to do great abs exercises using a Swiss ball. So I'm a personal trainer, specialise in weights, but also do a full range of exercises. I thought I'd do some ab exercises just so you could have a fully rounded routine. There are lots of videos on this site about weights, so this one is specifically about abs using a Swiss ball. So I'm going to wheel a Swiss ball in, I'll show you some exercises, I'll do them silently first, and then I'll come back and just give you some um, technical points about them. Okay, those are a series of crunches using a Swiss ball. Um, let me just talk about now the technical points. So first of all, the Swiss ball, the brilliant thing is because it's slightly unstable, you get a more intense uh, movement than you would do if you were lying flat on the ground. The other thing with a Swiss ball is because you lie on it and it curves, it gives you more support for your back, so you're less likely to use your back instead of your abs. So it's, again, it's a better targeting exercise than doing a crunch on, a, on the floor. If I had a choice between doing a crunch on the floor and do it on a Swiss ball, I would always choose a Swiss ball because you get a much better, more intense workout. The second thing with a Swiss ball is because of the shape of it, you can get, uh, you can get around a Swiss ball and the result is, again, you use your abs more uh, intensely than you would use on a flat because you're not using your back. So let me show you what I mean. When you lie down on a Swiss ball, this is the position that most people try and do ab exercises in, or they come slightly further back. They sit, they sit and lie in a horizontal position with hands behind the head. Actually, what you want to do is take advantage of the shape of the Swiss ball, come forward and drop your hips. So you're actually in a curve motion. Can you see my body's curved by the ball? Now the point about that is there's no way I can recruit my back in this exercise. I have to use my abs to lift. So you get a much more intense workout. I can feel that immediately. This is the perfect posture to do any sort of crunching. So as I said, if you get a chance, there's a Swiss ball around the gym, use it for ab work rather than flat on the floor. So it's this movement, okay? I can really feel that working here. Okay, the next thing to bear in mind is that what do you do with your hands? Well, your hands are not there to power the lift because that's your stomach. Your hands are there just to take the weight of your head. Do not put your hands in a lattice work behind your head and wrench or move your elbows in. That is not what your hands are for. All your hands are doing is taking the weight of your head. They hold, you have, hold your head loosely with your fingers behind your ears and then you lift with your elbows back. Make sure that you keep an apple's width between your chin and your chest. So you're not again wrenching your neck into this position. Again, just keep your neck neutral, keep your head neutral, try and relax in your upper body. Let your arms take the weight, but just move in line with your stomach muscles, but don't, it's not this movement, okay? That's a wrench of your neck. This is the movement you're looking for. You're looking straight up, you should be able to feel that it's your abdominals that are doing all the work, okay? So just check that your hips are down, that you're rounded over the ball. Take your head in your hands just loosely and just start crunching. Now, I also did this movement and that movement. Now, that is an intermediate lateral move. It works the obliques, which are the, the um, muscles that narrow the waist and give you the tram lines that you get if you exercise your stomach and you're looking for a six pack. So it's this movement. You make sure that one hand stays on your head and you're moving one arm to the opposite side of your body. It's a cross movement, a lateral movement, which works your obliques. If you want to become more intense, use your elbows, but keeping the back, again, to just direct your body to twist as you come up. It's this movement, okay? And you will feel the sides of your waist working, okay? So, those are your crunch movements on a Swiss ball. Um, absolutely brilliant for giving you a six pack, male or female, I would use this. The next way that I use a Swiss ball to, to exercise my abs is by doing plank type movements on here. Now the really fun thing about this is this looks easy, but it's not easy at all. And in fact, you tend to find that um, people who don't do a lot of ab work may start on this thinking, oh, I can do this, no problem, and they really struggle. But you will find that you'll progress and you'll get stronger quite quickly with this exercise. So it's a great way of toning up abs. Again, it's, it's uh, technically, if you get it right, you get brilliant results. If you do it wrong, you're gonna get sort of average results. So let's start. I'll demonstrate first, 
and then I'll come back and uh, do some spoken technical points. Make sure I'm in shot. Okay, so what I was doing there was doing a plank with a Swiss ball. The way I got into the plank position was go down on my knees. The reason I did that is because because the Swiss ball is slightly unstable, it's easier to get into the right position by taking it in stages. So get your arms in position first. Your shoulders should be under, sorry, your elbows should be underneath your shoulders. You can either lace your hands or just touch your hands in like a prayer position. So you want to have your elbows underneath your shoulders. And then you can lift your legs off. You need to be in a straight line. You're looking to have your body at an angle, but in a straight line between your head and your toes. I'll show you what not to do. I don't, this is not the right shape of your bum in the air. Neither is it the right shape if you're sinking. You need to be in a, like a plank of wood. That's why it's called a plank, like a plank of wood in this position. I also, you notice, move my arms. As you become better at this movement, to increase the intensity, you do what they call stir the pot. You're just moving your arms, your elbows, on the, on the ball. And that, again, just really increases the intensity of the exercise. And you can feel, you'll be able to feel your internal core muscles working when you do this exercise. If you find that it's too intense for you to start with, you can work from your knees, okay? The important thing is to get the technique right. The strength will come. If you don't get the technique right, the strength will never come and you'll never get... Um, the six pack that you want, or even just to, to look toned, okay? So, if necessary, start in that position, or you can always start in that position, maybe do 10 seconds like this, do five seconds on your knees, come back up, 10 seconds, five seconds, but work up to doing, preferably a minute of this type of exercise, either stable or stirring the pot. Take 15 seconds rest, come back up. I would do eight of those, as part of my stomach routine, okay? So, those are the two basic exercises that I would do for abs with a Swiss ball. Um, uh, as I said, I would choose a Swiss ball over any other equipment to do my abs with because of the intensity and the isolation you can get with these balls. So, if you've got one in the gym and you've not used one, have a go. At home, these are quite inexpensive to buy. Even the supermarkets now sell them. Um, and I also, I've got kids who I find that my kids love this. They obviously think it's like a massive football. I don't realise that. I think it's a technical piece of equipment. They just think it's a football. But uh, it's a good fun thing to have around. You can even do these exercises obviously at home, uh, watching TV if you want to. You don't need a special gym or area to do it in because they're very safe to use. You can use them on obviously hard floor, walk hard carpet. So they're really versatile piece of equipment for home exercise. So if I was doing my exercise at home, this is a piece of equipment I definitely would have at home. It's obviously slightly bulky, but you can always keep it in the garden if you want to. Um, and so they're cheap enough to some extent that you can always have one of these, um, keep it outside, you know, if in the winter it gets spoiled, you can get another one in the spring. But uh, as I said, using this, this equipment is fantastic for your stomach. I try and do these abs uh, exercises three or four times a week. Maybe if you have already have a regular time when you do exercise, you either go for a run or you do some yoga or you have a home video, whatever you may do, just add this at the start or the beginning. If you really hate ab exercises, my recommendation would be to do this exercise right at the start of your routine, don't wait till the end, get it out of the way. Um, and I think once you start, particularly with the Swiss ball, it's fun. Uh, so don't think it's a boring way to do exercise. So you can get through these exercises actually thinking, actually, this is not bad, this is actually quite fun. To do it at the front of your routine, or turn to do it at the end. If, you, if, you, if that doesn't work for you, the other thing you can do is sprinkle your ab exercises through your exercise routine. So there's no reason why you have to do them as a block. So you might want to do, maybe you'll do the, you know, the straightforward ab crunches on an Swiss ball at the start, then you might do some twists in the middle, then you might do plank at the end. You can break it up if you want, it doesn't matter, because overall it's about volume, not you know, whether you do it back to back. So those are my recommendations for how to do ab exercises using a Swiss ball, let me just roll it away. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's up to you. Any, any feedback is good feedback. Uh, do subscribe, I'd love to have you on board. This channel is full of videos on fitness, resilience, nutrition, diet. There's lots of stuff on here, weight loss as well. Um, there's some good technical videos here about uh, weights in particular because I'm a personal trainer and a weight specialist. Um, if you want to get hold of me, you've got some comments, then please leave a, a comment on this video or you can email me at hello at 3 pspublishingcom um, There's also some freebies you can get on our website. So there's a free book on alcohol-free drinks. There's one on 
puddings that you can eat while you are leaning up. There's lots of other things, recipes on our website. That's www.3pspublishing.com. Again, I'll put the details into the notes. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that's been helpful. I'm always looking to try and help, um, you, you know, basically use my expertise to help you have the body that you want. Um, thank you for your time. I know how precious it is. It's been an honour. And I'll see you soon. Bye.